So there's a new way to pay for travel on the tube and buses in London. Contactless payments started in late 2014, but now there's Apple Pay, meaning that those with the latest iPhone or Apple Watch can tap their device to pay as they go. This is Matt, and he's got a watch. And a phone. The first thing to note, though, is that it's not working with all banks yet. These are the ones which have so far signed up and are working now. And these other banks should be coming online soon. You have to register your card on your device first, though. If you have an iPhone, you do this through the settings for Passbook or the Passbook app itself, where you can take a picture of your bank card and it will scan the numbers for you. For an Apple Watch, you use the Watch app on your phone to do the same thing. Note that even for the same card, you have to add it twice if you have both a phone and a watch. And then you're good to go. Your device now acts like a contactless debit or credit card with a small caveat. As you approach the ticket barrier with a watch, you have to tap the side button twice to get it ready to scan. And on a phone, you have to use the touch ID sensor, typically with your thumb, and you have to do this for tapping in as well as tapping out at barriers. When we tried it out, we found for a watch, this is as fast as a normal contactless card. The odd thing though is that on a tube barrier gate is that most people wear their watch on their left arm, whereas the Oyster Pad is on the right hand side. On a phone, it does take longer though to tap in, as there's a second delay whilst it scans your fingerprint before letting you in. The question is, are people really going to use their phones and watches instead of a contactless card? Yes, because it simplifies the, uh, the process for consumers. They've got their phone in their hand, they can just pay with it, they don't have to fumble around in their wallet. Um, find the right card, put that on the reader. For me, it, uh, it transforms payments for consumers because it makes them more secure because the, uh, their card details are not passed on to the merchant, in this case, Transport for London. They're safer because the transaction is uh, tokenized and they get a real-time um, alert, uh, notification on their phone, um, advising them of, of the transaction. Barclaycard also have their BPay system, although they've now announced that they'll be joining Apple Pay too. So expect to see more of this and less Oyster cards on the tube.